Hi guys. So, uh, thank you. Let's start our lecture. I mean, what we are looking. So, statistical mechanics ka baat kar rahe hai, right? So, uh, we have saw, we have seen few concepts, right? In thermal physics, thermal physics mein humne kya kya dekha? Thermal physics. Uh, I said the idea to introduce thermal physics was to just give you some brief concepts and. Uh, some brief concepts so that you will be compatible when we are going to deal with statistical mechanics, right? Uh, we are not going to look right now at the moment, uh, full thermal physics course. That's uh, not the idea, but the idea is to give you the, basically the statistical mechanics course right now. So, so let's uh, look at the few concepts. So number, number if I say number one thing was to to just uh, point out is something like this that we saw uh, basically what is thermal physics if I say and basically let's talk about what is statistical mechanics right the way mechanics says to you things right mechanics is something like your equations of motions and uh, and even 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 the first aspect is something like work. You are very familiar with the concept of, let's say, a set called work, right? In mechanics, that's very much related with the mechanics. If I say with the thermal physics, so there will be, there will be a set something like called heat, right? That's which thermal ko represent karega, right? because our temperature fluctuations and the system may heat flow karegi. So uh, you can see that we have seen that there is a union of these two, right? And the union is something like this, if you have a set called mechanics, and if you have a set called thermal, which is represented by there's a union of this. And, and what this union says to you, that's basically where the concept of entropy comes, right? entropy introduced, right? right? The union there is a, maximum amount of work that you can get from from a given amount of heat right so like the the, the kelvin statement right kelvin statement kya tha ki all works cannot be produced all heat cannot be i mean in a, in a vice versa way like uh, all heat cannot be produced uh, i mean substantially done do work so Joby heat available that cannot be completely converted into work. There's a limitation that you can convert heat into work, and that limitation is basically the Kelvin statement. And uh, so there is an upper limit on the heat, right? Heat, uh, heat form work many convert for such a Kelvin statement. And there's a uh, Clausius statement parallelly, and and uh, so heat can't get converted into work fully, right? And the other thing is that the other thing is that it is a Clausius statement. Right? And what was it? What was it? It means that there is a, there is a process there is a which spontaneous processes, right? Which flows in the unidirection with the is, right? There is a kind of like the two boxes which are maintain a temperature T1 and T2 and such that T1 is greater than T2. So when in this case the condition, if there's a natural flow of heat from higher one to the lower one, those are the spontaneous ways of proceedings, right? And the, and the quantity that govern this spontaneous proceeding is called entropy, which, which let's say increases on, on a time scale, right? So if we have seen that, right? We have seen the entropy. So, or we have seen that there's a, there's a equally Boltzmann definition, right? Boltzmann definition of entropy. And uh, what is that? Right, that's, that's Boltzmann definition, right? What is, and that the entropy is associated with the K log omega, right? Where the omega is the number of microstates available to system. Microstates, right? To see what these things are, how they emerge, right? But so, this has given the idea that the, there's a which, which is called basically a domestic approach. I 
and this may like there's a discrete set of micro states available to systems or entropy calculate kar sakte ho aap just taking the log of that available states so abhi aaj jo hame to you see there are few additional things that we are going to learn in detail and those additional things are let me point out something like entropy number 2 will be something like called temperature and number 3 will be something like what we can say let's say called free energy we will see what these things are right so ye cheeze dekhenge hum which are very essential for further proceedings right so entropy temperature and free energy right so abhi right now let's uh, let's start uh, but uh, let me introduce to you the Uh, the cons uh, and you also seen some something like what what probabilities are right so so probabilities ka concept kya hai wo sab humne dekha ki right ki the the basic definition was to to toss a dice and you will see that the, there is a sample space associated with the dice which is something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> and you know that the probability of an event e is defined as the is a is a particular event by the total number of outcomes right so it's something like uh, if i want to say what is the probability that you will get a get a one on this dice is something like 1 by 6 right so for a event which is represented by one right so that's the way probabilities were defined and uh, you see they these events are defined not a, for a particular set but infinitely many such sets so wo idea hai something like you keep on repeating these sort of observation for infinitely many number of times then only you can say that this probability epsilon 1 by 6 is a correct probability right so aaj ka jo idea hai wo that's a basic idea to introduce these are the old things so aaj we are going to introduce to you that binary model system क्या है बाइनरी मॉडल सिस्टम में तो लेट्स से समथिंग लाइक दिस एक स्पिन है लेट्स से द सेट ऑफ स्पिन राइट मुझे ऐसे बनाने दो जैसे कोई स्पिन सेट है जो कि मान लो कुछ ऐसे टाइप का स्पिन सेट है राइट ये मेरा कोई सिस्टम है राइट व्हिच इज व्हिच इज बेसिकली लेट्स से दिस इज माय सिस्टम और सिस्टम गवर्न ने कुछ ऐसे सॉर्ट ऑफ लेट से दीज आर एन स्पिन राइट उसमें कुछ अप है कुछ डाउन है when, when a spin is up, it's contribute to the magnetic moment, let's say with positive one sign, and when the for a up spin, right, it's called or let's say let's say it adds to like something plus mu, right, and when it's a spin is down, let's say it's contribute Has been down. It's contribute contribute to the magnetic moment minus mu. This is basically a spin, and this is basically magnetic moment. Right. So, so when I say binary model system, what it means? It means that each spin has two possible orientation, right? या तो स्पिन ऐसे ऊपर जाएगी या तो स्पिन ऐसे ऊपर जाए नीचे जाएगी देर इज नो अदर वे बिटवीन राइट दैट्स व्हाट बाइनरी मींस इट्स अ टू पॉसिबल ओरिएंटेशंस तो हाउ फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ दीज आर एन पार्टिकल सिस्टम राइट दिस इज एन स्पिन्स लेट्स से दिस राइट क्वेश्चन वन दिस इज एन स्पिन राइट अभी मैं तुमसे बोलता हूं कि लेट्स से फॉर टू पार्टिकल सिस्टम राइट two particle system so let's study two particle system right two particle system mein kya hoga i have two particle right number of particles kitne honge that's very obvious number of particles two honge right and the way i define the property is like each particle can either up or either down right so that means if i associate up with one and down with two So the up one can 
upon 10, how you can write this particle one for particle one? Particle one can exist in two phases, right? Either it can be up or it can be down, right? The subscript one is correspond to the particle which you are talking about, right? Similarly for particle two, these sort of things can happen, right? Similar to, so how, how many total number of states for these combination could exist, right? Distinct states. It need total number of states only. So, which is type select sector, right? Itni number of states only, right? Uska kya matlab hai? Like up, up, right? Usme dono particle one, two, jo hai, one, two, these are the particles, right? Particles, right? And this is kya? Spin hai, ye spin hai. So you can see that the two particles, this is a state that will be in which two particles will be up. And one will be up, one will be up, which 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 will be Particle system, number of distinct states, number of distinct state is kya hai? Pahla particle, pahla particle ka do possible combination hai. So total number of states will be given by something like this, which is this, 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 plus this, this. And uh, maybe one more you can you can put either a two sign here or let's not put that, but let's let me write it down in a full fashion. So let me write it down something like this. Right. Right, one hai, two hai, one, two, one, two. What is this? One, two, right? So there are four possible combinations, right? For a binary two particle system, right? So let's say for a three particle system, how will it look like for a three particle system? So these are the number of distinguishable states for a for a two particle system, right? The way it can live on. So, अभी अगर तीन particle system हो तो उसको कैसे करोगे? बोलो. It's it's again. I mean the particles are three, but the particles are something like they can exist in two states only. That's the question, right? The particle can exist in two states, and there are three particles which can which are there, right? So how do you write the possible distinct combinations, right? So there is a, so I would say let's let let me write it down for a three particle system. So so, man, look, कोई पहला particle है जिसके पास like the particle could be in up state or down state. So this is for particle one, right? Similarly for particle two, it could be up or down. Right. Similarly, for particle three, it could be up or could be down, right? So, uh, how many ways total number of states, right? How, so, total number of distinct state. How many total number of distinct state can come out from this? Right.
चौबीस से इससे क्या क्या स्टेट्स निकल के आएंगे बोलो तो देर कुड बी स्टेट लाइक वेन ऑल विल बी अप राइट देर कुड बी स्टेट लाइक दिस there could be state where two will be up and one will be down right and that will be something appearing something like this right something like this right that sort of things happen this is 1 2 3 particles right this is 1 2 3 you can label the particle right these are not uh, quantum particles right now 1 2 3 right you can label them always aur dusra kya combo banega jab ki do down ho jayenge right राइट दो डाउन हो सकती है राइट दो डाउन हो सकती है ये भी तुम पॉसिबल लिख सकते हो एंड एंड द फाइनल वन विल बी बट समथिंग लाइक ऑल डाउन राइट तो यही वन टू थ्री ऑल डाउन राइट तो यही पॉसिबल फॉर्म वो बन सकते हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट राइट टोटल एट पॉसिबिलिटीज बन सकती हैं so you see that for a, for a three particle system how many possibilities are there that's basically eight eight configurations right eight configurations for a for a two particle system for a two particle system in a in a which forms a binary system for a two particle binary system how many number of states is basically four configurations right so so what about what about you you see you see now a pattern like there is a there is a generating function there is a generating function and the generating function is something for for two particle two particle binary system is is something this and this one two one two this is a generating function for a two particle binary system for a three particle binary system the generating function is something right This is three part generating function for the three particle binary system. What about now n particle? Now you can write it down for a four particle and number of states, number of state, number of configurations. Sorry, you can say that. Number of configurations. Here, how many? Four. Here, how many? Eight. अभी मैं फोर पार्टिकल के लिए मैं आपको छोड़ रहा हूँ बट अबाउट नाउ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जर्नलाइज फॉर एन पार्टिकल सिस्टम तो यहाँ एन के लिए इसको जनरेटिंग फंक्शन क्या बनेगा वन वन राइट टू टू ऑन सो ऑन राइट दिस इज अ प्रोडक्ट बेसिकली एंड दिस इज एन दिस इज एन एंड नंबर ऑफ कॉन्फिग्रेशन Answer is two to the power n. Now convince yourself. Convince yourself that for n particle binary system, there is a there is a number of possible configurations are given by two to the power n, right? So this is your homework. Do it, right? And for today's, uh, this is your lesson for today. so let's meet on the next class thank you for joining the class thank you